by default access disables all the potentially unsafe code or other components in a database. As you can see, the macro open settings is disabled. After you decide to trust a database, you can either trust it by using the message bar or by putting the database file in a trusted location. If you do not see the message bar, but content has been disabled, make sure that the message bar is enabled. Click on file. Click on options. In the left pane of the access options dialog box, click on trust center. In the right pane under Microsoft Access Trust Center, click on Trust Center Settings. In the left pane of the Trust Center dialog box, click on Message Bar. In the right pane, click on Show the Message Bar and then click on OK. Close and reopen the database to apply the changed setting. Message bar is visible and enabled and you can see a security warning. Click on enable content to enable the disabled content. Click on the macro open settings and you can see that it is enabled. To specify that a given database is trustworthy and should be enabled by default, make sure that the database file is in a trusted location. A trusted location is a folder or file path on your computer or a location on your intranet, which is considered safe to run code. To specify a trusted location, click on File, click on Options. In the Access Options dialog box on the left, click on Trust Center. On the right, under Microsoft Access Trust Center, click on Trust Center Settings. In the left pane of the Trust Center dialog box, click on Trusted Locations. To add a network location in the right pane, select the Allow Trusted Locations on My Network checkbox. Click on Add New Location. In the Microsoft Office Trusted Location dialog box, use one of the following methods. In the Path box, type the full path of the location that you want to add or click on Browse to browse to the location. To specify that subfolders of the new trusted locations should also be trusted, select the subfolders of this location are also trusted checkbox. Optionally, in the description box, type a description for the trusted location. Click on OK. Now move the database to the trusted location. Click on OK. If you want to know the path of the current database, click on the File tab to open the Backstage view. The full path of the current database's location is listed on the Info tab. Close the database. Open the folder where the database file is currently located and then move the database file into the trusted location. Open the database from the new trusted location. Click on the macro open settings and see it is enabled. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.